Hi Georgetown, my name is Trinity and I'm a freshman in the MSB and for today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I adjusted to the city life in DC. So I'm originally from a suburb of Atlanta which is just about an hour outside of Atlanta and my area is pretty suburban. Um, originally when I was younger like we had like more of a rural vibe but especially towards when I graduated high school. It was more of a suburb, urban kind of area, but definitely not a city. So coming into Georgetown and being in DC was definitely a bit of adjustment for me. So I thought I would just give you guys some tips that helped me adjust to the DC life smoothly. So first things first um, is the pace of DC and just any city in general is pretty quick. People are constantly trying to get places, they're moving around, they want things done quick. It's just a different pace of life than what I was used to coming in um, first semester. So one piece of advice that I have that really kind of helped me was to find something that helps to ground you because it's very easy to just kind of get caught up in all of this craziness that's going on. Um, but without that thing to ground you, you kind of just can get swept away by this like fast paced life. So find those like one or two things that really just help you um, to stay grounded in who you are um, and also just mentally stay grounded. Those things that help you to you know, recenter yourself and refocus. For me, that's like going to church. For some people, that is, you know, a club or um, watching Netflix or reading a book or anything that can kind of help you just slow down um, and just, you know, smell the roses a little bit. So sometimes the city can feel really big and intimidating. So like I said, for me, coming from a suburb of Atlanta to DC, I didn't really have much experience with DC. I had been just a few times before, but I didn't really know a lot about the different neighborhoods. I didn't really know a lot about Georgetown. Um, so as a result of that, the rest of DC kind of just felt really intimidating. I didn't want to go out because I didn't want to risk getting lost. I thought it was going to be like a huge ordeal. But one piece of advice that I definitely have is to be intentional about exploring the city. The city is going to feel big and intimidating until you go out and explore and see different places and just get to know the city. It's really easy to kind of just like stay on campus. We have this joke like that campus is called the Georgetown bubble because food is here, you know, your house is here. Everything you could possibly need is technically on campus, but there's so many opportunities to go out and see the city and get to know the city. So I definitely recommend being intentional about seeing the city, rather if you're going out once a week or once a month just to see something new in the city or explore a new place. I definitely recommend that and I try to do that myself just so I'm not totally honed um, and totally centered at Georgetown, but that I'm also just exploring the awesome city that surrounds Georgetown. So then that brings me to my last tip about adjusting to the city life. Leave the city. <laughs> so um, like I said, there's so many different adjustments. It's a faster pace of life. Um, people are always just doing things. If you come from a slower pace of life background like myself, sometimes it's good just to leave the city just for a weekend um, and just take a break. Because especially, you know, along with classes and other stressors, a lot of it can just get um, too much at times. So it's really good just to kind of leave the city, unplug from everything. Um, I recommend going on a retreat once a year, once a semester. If you can make it once a month uh, with still doing all your homework and stuff, good for you. But I went on a retreat last semester and then I'm going on to this semester. Um, and it's just an opportunity to just leave the city. Um, like I said, de-plug from everything and just kind of engage with a, um, an environment that you normally wouldn't be able to. Um, the retreat that I went on earlier this month, we got to go to a camp in like the middle of Virginia. So there wasn't even like a ton of service. So it was very like the polar opposite of being in the heart of DC, which I loved because then it just like gave me an opportunity to focus on the things that I don't necessarily have an opportunity to do here just because I'm kind of caught up in everything. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that my tips can help you if you live in Georgetown or live in a city or you're considering coming to Georgetown, um, I hope that these tips can help you. But yeah, adjusting to the city is definitely possible and definitely feasible. Um, but these are just some tips, hopefully, to help you do that. I'll see you guys next time.